Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing the June monthly oracle card guidance and we have three card decks here. We have three options. We have the goddess guidance oracle cards. We have the fairies oracle cards and we have the answer simple oracle cards. Go ahead and make your selection and you can go down to the timestamps below to go directly to your reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the goddess guidance oracle cards, that is the number one, we are asking the question, what is our monthly oracle card guidance for the month of June 2023? So what can we expect in the month of June 2023? What can we expect and what do we need to be prepared for? And is there any guidance that comes with that? So for those of you who've chosen the first option, we're looking at June and we're using the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. And we have four cards here, which represent the four weeks of June of 2023. And the first card that comes up is Nematona. And it's a card of sacred space. And the caption reads, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. So I feel that in the first week of June, it might be a time and we are already in it. By the time this reading is uploaded, it will be the 3rd or the 4th of June. It's time to connect with the with the past. It's time to connect with that which you regarded as ancient or as divine or as having connect and a connection to the ancient, it is time to look at where it is and how it is that you can integrate and connect with your spirituality. And this might be in a very simple way. It might be that you're taking a walk and you you feel very drawn to a particular stone, um, and you you feel the need to sit down and connect with that stone, which will connect you to ancient times. It could be that you're driving and you feel connected to a particular mountain and that mountain speaks to you. It could be you could have the same connection with the shell or with something else or you might just simply feel like it's time to revisit your altar or to con recreate an altar or to simply create an altar for the first time in your home and it doesn't have to be anything particularly religious. It could simply be some objects that you have that have, have a, spe a special significance in your life that you place together in a particular formation that brings meaning and value to your life. So it's about being able to connect and to simply feel connected to the divine. And I feel that as we as we have this full moon and as you enter the that last phase of that moon cycle, you're going to feel like you need more and more to connect with the divine or that you feel more at one with the divine. It's a time of great healing and a time to forgive the past, to forgive that which has been and to be able to move on um, with quite a lot of, um, I think humility is the word, at least to begin with. And so that is your first week of June. It's to connect with the divine in whichever way you can, in a way that makes you feel like you know you've been connected. You know you have connected. You know you feel well with that connection. And that is what is important at this point. The As we enter the second week of June, the card Cordelia comes up and the caption is go outside. It says, you have been indoors for too long. 
go outside and get some fresh air. And for some of you who are looking at this, you might think, well, I was out all day today or I was out all of yesterday getting some fresh air. And I think that this card can be literal, but it could also mean that it's okay to get out and be in nature. It's okay to get out and connect with others. It, it's okay to reignite your social life. And if you feel like like perhaps you are spending too much of time at home and you might be feeling like perhaps you need rest rather than going out. It, this is, I think this card is saying, well, accept that invitation if it comes your way and do go out. And don't think that because you've been out all day that it, you should sit at home at the evening in the evening and recuperate or something like this. Rather go out and enjoy your life at the to the fullest at this moment. I feel like for some of you, this could even have some kind of destiny linked to that. So perhaps you would meet somebody um, that you were meant to meet at an earlier point if you go out um, at some moment when you were not planning to go out. That is a very specific message and that's not how I would normally read this card. But in this case, I think that um, it does mean that you should get out and be in, in outdoors, do something which is related to nature, commune and connect with nature. However, I do think that in some instances, this card is, means just go out and be sociable, right? As you enter the third week of June, you might be feeling the need to connect with those that you've known previously or those that you've had a connection with previously. You might be feeling quite connected to those who've passed on. Oh, you might be feeling the need to gain some access or gain some guidance from your ancestors. The card Isis here the cat reads, um, the situation involves your past life memories. And so it's a card that actually has the caption past life. And it could refer to um, people who have passed on people in the spirit world, or something, something to do with your what is supposedly your own past life. Um, if you are a believer in a free incarnation. So this is referring to a life that might have been that you could have resonated with or you have a vibrational connection with and this could also mean that you know you're meeting with people that you haven't met with in a long time um, and there's some issues that needed to be resolved some things that need to be taken apart and put back together with these perhaps friends or family that you might connect with in the third week of June. And it's just about revisiting um, energy from the past that gives you the feeling that um, that it's taking you back. It's taking you back to a part of you that used to exist, perhaps in this lifetime or perhaps in one before this lifetime. All right. And then we come to the last week of June and we have the card Ishal. I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. I think it's Ish Ishal or Ixchal. I'm not really sure. Please forgive me. Um, and we have the card. Um, the caption is Medicine Woman. And it reads... You are a channel for divine healing power. Now, I feel that as you come into the last week of June, not only are people going to be more drawn to you because you have a particular resonance uh, with them and a particular clarity that you would have reached as you've gone through the different experiences that you have this month, like your like creating your sacred space, like connecting, going outside, achieving that balance, reconnecting with past and healing that and so you're going to become a magnet for healing when you are actually um, as you come to the end of the month and you might find that you're surrounded with people who need something from you in some way or the other and that you are able to give that and you are able to give of yourself in that particular way. You might also find that as you come to the end of the month that you are in a position where you are able to um, to access power healing power that you are able to provide for yourself as well. The other meaning of this card is that you, as you come to the end of this month, you might need, find the need to be able to uh, look at how and and when 
you will be looking after yourself as far as your own health and your own well-being is concerned. So you might be looking at making appointments with the dentist or making appointments with the optometrist or do something that it get gives you the impression, it gives you the feeling that you're taking care of yourself. Perhaps you are seeking some kind of therapeutic healing and, and giving yourself that. As the cast says here, you are a channel for divine healing power. I feel that this is healing power that's directed to you. You might have those who are coming to you for to access healing power, but I feel like here, as you come into the last week of June, it is time to take care of yourself. Perhaps it's time for you to give yourself those therapies that you might have been putting off, you might have been avoiding. Uh, perhaps you've been advised by somebody to go and seek out a particular therapy, but you've decided it's too expensive or you don't have the time for that or you're not able to do it for whatever reason. Well, as you enter the last week of June, my suggestion to you is to go about getting that healing. Perhaps you can do an exchange with that person who's offering the healing, or perhaps you could find the time and make th the time to go ahead and, and have that healing in whichever way you'd like to, to do so. But just paying attention to yourself so that you can be that channel of divine healing power, not just to others, but to yourself as well. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I think that's your message for the month of June and I wish you all a very blessed beautiful month of June 2023 and for those of you who've chosen the second option which is the fairies oracle uh, deck we are asking the question what is our oracle card guidance for the month of June 2023 and what we're looking for is something to warn us of what's what June is going to be like and we are looking to see if we can receive some guidance as to what to do to prepare ourselves and to receive some guidance for the month of June. Wow, so the month of June is a very important month for those of you who have chosen the option number two. And I think that um, this month, it's really very much about coming into yourself again or drawing yourself back to you. So I feel like this reading reads to me like somebody who's kind of understood or been alerted to the fact that the life they're living could be could be improved perhaps they in a relationship with somebody who's who's a wonderful person but they can find a better match for themselves okay perhaps they are in a kind of a financial relationship with somebody who is not the right match for them they could have a particular roommate who's not necessarily necessarily the right match for them perhaps they've settled in some kind of way in their lives and are having forsaken some of their dreams in the process and they've done something just because it's been comfortable or convenient at a particular time and now they feel like it's time to raise their standards and the 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 guidance here is to raise your standards and you might have had somebody come into your life who is a mirror to you to show you that you've been doing this and um, as I say, don't, <laughs> as they say, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, but there, there might have been something that alerted you to that. All right. So it's time to, to raise your standards. It's time to, um, if you know that something is not working out in the way that it should, or it's not serving you in the way that you need to be served, um, it's not actually 
the right match for you, then it's time for you to let go of that. It's time for you to change whatever it is that is holding you back from actually achieving your greatest potential and from being the best that you can be in this lifetime. So as you come into June, the idea is that you it's time to raise your standards. OK, and this requires you to as you come into the second week of June, it requires you to consider what does self-reliance mean for you? What does it mean to rely on yourself? Can you actually rely on yourself? Um, how is it that you can rely on yourself? How is it that you can draw away from this person that you might have become dependent on in some way that is holding you back in your life? Okay, that is one example. You could be, it could be advising you to raise your standards in many other different ways, just in terms of how you look after yourself, how you care for yourself, what kind of work you have, how you're spending your life, um, how you're spending your life in terms of your work, in terms of your hobbies, in terms of the people that you surround yourself with and the times and the time that you give and, and spend with others. As you move into week two, though, the card is called self-reliance and it's asking you to look at where you can give more time to yourself, where you can take more time and energy for yourself as an investment in yourself. And it's asking you to um, cut away bonds that may not be serving you or may be codependent or may simply have been made just for convenience and to move towards yourself once again so that you can redefine what it is that you need in your life and how and where it is that you're headed with what it is that you are doing in your life. Okay. As we come into week three, the card is inner power. So the, all these cards are leading to one thing. It, it kind of came out in a way that's really telling me that you need to, you know, literally raise your standards, literally be self-reliant, be able to tap into your inner power to be able to do that and to be able to awaken to your true self, awaken your true self once again. Because right now, that is what the problem is. In the state that you have been, it seems like you there's something missing. There's a, a state that you can evolve to where you could be awakening your true self. And it, but in order to do that, you need to be self-reliant and you need to be able to tap into your inner power. You need to be able to really understand and feel and truly be in touch with that power that is yours, that is something that you are, have that is only yours, that is innately yours, that cannot be taken away from you. And it's about going inward and do, and tapping into that. And, and in doing that, as we come to the week four, you're going to be awakening to your true self or you're going to have set the stage for you to begin awakening to your, to your true self. And I think that this month of June is quite an important month for you in terms of your own evolution and in terms of how it is that you progress from one state to another. And you don't have to drag your feet about this. It can go really fast. It can be something that can happen very quickly and is, is going to move ahead quite quickly as well. So you don't need to actually um, think about this too much. You just need to follow yourself. You know, you need to follow yourself in that you yourself will guide you through this process. You by listening to you, your intuition, listen to where is it that you're dissatisfied with your life? Where is it that you might be having a bit of frustration in your life? And how is that that you can improve that? What is it that you can do in order to improve your life in this moment? What is it that you can do after listening to this video to improve your life? Okay, so take a moment to think about that and, and do it, you know, and feel yourself becoming more aligned on yourself, feel your strength and your power in the process and awaken to your true self so that you can actually enjoy new levels of fulfillment and bliss that you haven't experienced until now. So I think that for you is your message in this month of June um, 2023. And I think that for you, it might be a process that can take, it can happen this month, but it could also be a process that repeats itself, you know, and you continue 
raising your standards. You continue becoming more self-reliant and tapping into your inner power in order to awaken to your new true self. And that could be continuing for another year already. Uh, okay, because I feel like this reading for you is like from now till June 2024. So good luck with that and and many, many blessings and um, lots of joy and happiness as you awaken your true self. Much love to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are using the Answer Simple Oracle deck, which is one of my favorite decks. And we are asking... What is our Oracle guidance for the month of June 2024? What is our Oracle guidance, our monthly Oracle guidance for the month of June 20, sorry, 2023, not 2024. Okay, so we're looking at June 2023. And what we're actually looking for is what kind of guidance is it that we need during this time to be able to have the best month as we go ahead what is it that we can do to prepare for june what is it that we can do to prepare for whatever is coming our way and what's the best way to use the energy that is coming our way Okay, and for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we have the cards Rebel, Clean Up Your Mess, Take No Offense, and Drop It. Okay, so as you enter June, you might be doing something, you might be swimming against the stream. It, you might be doing something that others consider to be a bit crazy or just not the correct thing to be done. To You might be doing something that others consider dangerous or just simply unsavory or unpleasant. And you're going to forge ahead no matter what. And you're going to do that regardless of what others think. You might need to take a decision that reflects this. You might not be a rebel, but an action that you take or a decision that you might be forced into taking positions you as a rebel in June of 2023. The card as you enter the second week of June is clean up your mess. So where is it that you can bring more order into your life? Are there some invoices that need to be filed? Are there some documents that need to be taken care of and looked after and filed away or perhaps discarded? Is there something that needs to be taken care of? Is there Do you have a leakage in your home or is there some kind of problem with the infrastructure of your home? Is there something that needs to be repaired or cleaned or looked after? Where is it that your care and attention is needed and in a sustained manner so that you may make a difference as far as that is concerned? And that is what is reflected in the second week of June. That is what you will be taking care of in the second week of June. The card Take No Offense comes up as the third week of June comes uh, comes to meet you. And I think that in this sense, it's really important not to take to heart these last minute cancellations or just somebody not having the time to meet with you or somebody not being able to create the the time or the space to share with you. Perhaps they are not able to at this moment and there could be something there could be other things that have come up in that time that don't allow you to actually pro uh, meet this person or be with this person. It could be also that someone has told you something or suggested something to you that has 
has offended you. It's offended your sensibilities because you you prefer to do something in your own way in a manner that is different from the rest. Um, so it's important to um, not to he not to heed what others have to say, but not take to heart what others have to say, because then you might find yourself being a, ple a people pleaser and just trying to do everything to live to please those around you. Okay, as you enter the last week of June, I think it's time they say to drop it. You know, I think it's time to stop cleaning up your mess. <laughs> stop thinking about who's offended you or what hasn't come to pass and to let it go to let it go and to leave things be uh, and leave things be in June you know do not take it into July do not take it into your next step and I think that it's time to be able to um, just let things go for the moment in order for you to have the rest that you need but also for you to have the clear space to be able to move on in the in the following month the energy of June stays in June and this is something that can be revisited at a later stage perhaps in six months from now or in a year from now but this is something that as is you come to the end of June just take everything that you've been working on in June and I mean emotionally or in terms of your mind and just put it aside for the moment, even if it's something that you're working on as a project. If you can afford to leave it aside, leave it aside, give it time to mature and revisit it at a later stage. OK, that's the advice here. It's to drop it. And also, if you've been carrying heavy burdens, if you've been um, if you've been holding grudges or if you've been holding hurt from your childhood, if you've been hanging on to past hurts in order to defend yourself and protect yourself from future hurts, it's really time to let go of that and drop that in order to be able to allow life to forge ahead, to move ahead and to meander along and to experience good experiences in this lifetime and trying to protect yourself and trying to, he to shield yourself from what can be can actually lead you to a dead end and it won't give you the chance, the opportunity to progress in your life. So the suggestion here is simply to drop it as you come to the end of June. All right. So I hope that reading helps you. I hope it it uh, resonates. I would suggest come back at the end of the second week of June and re-listen to this message because you might find that you hear it now in one way but you hear it later on in a in a different way and that might be the time that it really truly helps you all right so wishing you all a very very blessed month of june 2023 and may you have a, a very wonderful time in this month and may you enjoy it even while you are being a rebel and cleaning up your mess and yes and I think it's important to just have fun and enjoy it. So I'm wishing that for you. Okay. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.